And so it might seem like a little bit of a weird camera angle, um, but I've got my camera in between my legs here, so that makes it a little, a little bit of a difficulty. Um, but today I wanted to have a little touristic flight from Alpha Hotel Bravo Kilo towards Echo Hotel Alpha Mango. I don't know what the M is, but it doesn't matter. I want to be going um, a little bit of a touristic route. But I'm going to be using the G1000 to set up the flight plan, and that is what we will be starting with. The G1000 update has been available this week to my patrons already to test things out. If you're interested in that, go check out the description down below. So if you like the content or if you're interested in the connector, hit the subscribe button, the bell icon, the like button to be the first to notify when a new update comes live. The next one will hopefully be um, retrieving data from the game like the Master Caution, the Master Warning, other variables from other planes in here. Um, we've opened Pandora's box, um, so seatbelts on, we're going to see how it goes. We're going to bombard you with variables you can alter, we're going to bombard you with variables you can receive for different planes. All in all, um, it's the next phase I think. If I've implemented a way for you guys to add your own variables in it as well, in an easy way, important, easy way, I'm going to call it a version 1.0. I'm going to keep developing it, but you know, we have a point that I'm like, yeah, we got everything in that we need as a base. And my plan was to have a little of a flight going through the waterworks, the delta works that keep our, uh, you know, our country dry from the ocean. So we are pretty below sea level. But I don't have anything set up in my G3 uh, 1000 yet, so that is what we are going to be doing first. So, flight plan. Origin. We're going to be going to Echo... Oh, the origin is Echo... Hotel. Bravo. Kilo. Enter. I'm starting to get the hang of this. There we go. No runway as well. Doesn't matter really. Go to the P. Don't go peeing, but uh, letter P. Here we go. And the beauty of this is that we aren't controlling anything with our mouse. We are doing it directly through the connector, altering the G13. Uh, oh, boo! It's early in the morning still. The G1000 with our homebrew controller. Tomorrow I will upload a video on how to use touchscreen so you can get started with this as well if you want to. Um, but I wanted to swap the videos around because then you could already get started with the G1000 if you wanted to this weekend. And I've been saying this for weeks, but I wanted to add this and I finally did. We are using our own WASM module. And I'm going to explain it all to you on how that works, how you can install it, etc. Um, in this video. So don't be afraid if you are like, what is a WASM module? We will get to that in a moment. And a T. Here we go. And then last but not least, I'll go down one. Destination. Echo. Hotel Alpha Mango. Let me know in the comments down below what mm, the M is, and I'll be forever grateful. Echo Hotel Alpha. Mango. Here we go. Enter to accept. Perfect. We got a root set up. We could also bind keys for the MFD, but I didn't in this case. So, well, well, don't worry. We can still see that we've got a flight plan set up. We didn't touch the mouse except for the clear button. Um, let me be completely transparent about this. I kind of cheated, uh, but we got it working. We can even use these little uh, these buttons. Map. We want to map. We want to. To. We want the uh, layout to be map off. Here we go. Flight plan can be closed. We want to go back. Well, perhaps you do want them a little bit of map. We, let's do it. HSI map. I never used that one. Here we go. We can zoom in, zoom out. There we go. Perfect. Um, yeah, menu. Let's close this one. We don't need this. Change the brightness. 
Okay, fine. We got something else. I'm gonna go back. Um, I'm just. I don't know why I'm showing you this. You don't know better than me. I think what you can do with this, but uh, it all comes down to it's possible now. We can control every button on the POD. I believe I don't. Do I have it bound yet for the volume? Group flight plan. Track two. Zoom in. Zoom out. Okay, the volume buttons aren't in yet, but as you can see, this is quite an extensive list. Um, so this can get you started with all the essentials you need. Right now, we can send commands, so we can open the menus, we can close it. And eventually I also want to retrieve data, so I believe that will be in the next update. Um, but for now this works, we can send data and that's it's been in the docs for months that I had the G1000 commands in, but they were inoperable. Right now, they are operable, finally. And so, so the latest patch notes are available on the website. I'll link them in the description down below. Why is it important? Well, in the latest patch notes are all the functions that I've been adding in this update, ranging from the G1000 up until the G3000, PFDs, um, MFDs. We have the enter buttons, clear buttons, flight plan, direct to, I believe I got all of them. We got these buttons, FMS controls, so the lower one and the outer one, or the inner one and the outer one, depends how you want to look at it. If we open the documentation, we'll find that these are, for the G1000, they are the group knob and the page knob. So if you're looking for those, it are those buttons with the G3000. It depends on which plane you're using. Um, so play around with it a little bit to see which of these suits the needs for you because perhaps you use another plane than the Cessna 172 or any other plane that uses the G3000, 1000 that might differ a little bit. So play around with it. Some have three screens, some have one screen. You know, uh, there is not a simple approach that fits every plane. So if you create something, think about that as a starting point that it might use uh, that it might work on one plane but it won't work in the others so if you use the pfd soft key for the g3000 um you also need to find a way to use it with the g3000 if you want to so if you want to switch planes but you don't want to switch hardware um, find a way that perhaps you have a little switch that if you flick it it's in three G3000 mode, and if you flip it the other way, it's in G1000 mode or something like that. Um, just something to keep in mind. So we've got this enormous list of commands that have been added. I'm working on a way so you can eventually add your own if there are some exotic planes that you're using that um, you know aren't supported yet. Doesn't matter, we can find a way to easily add commands down the road. Now, how does it look in the sketch? Pretty simple, area I've included my library. I've created a library object, so an object of this class of the Bits and Droids Flight 32. I, in this example, I've got a button wired up to pin 4 of an Arduino or an ESP32. Or, um, that's the beauty, you can use any microcontroller that can communicate with serial. So Arduino, Steensys, ESPs, STM32s, you are not limited by hardware by any means. You can use any component, you can use any Arduino board, any microprocessor, it's all up to you if you can wire everything up schematically um, and implement the code just like an API yourself. So right here, if the button is low, because we're using internal pull-up resistor, the low state will be the pressed state, so the button is physically pressed. We do connect.send. Now we just go back to our list of all the commands that have been added and I don't know, let's say, uh, Flight plan button. Now we've got two options. We can either add this, send G3000 BFD flight plan button, or we can add the value it represents. But just to keep things legible, uh, we exactly know what it does. We're gonna go with the text. Here we go. Send G1000 BFD flight plan button. And that's all it. That's it. I mean, you can now press upload and this button will send G1000 BFD flight plan. The only thing that's left is to boot up the connector, hit start, and you know, it uh, it works. And do here, but flight plan, direct to whatever you want. Zoom in, zoom out. 
So yeah, it's that solid. Does it work out of the box with the connector? No, it won't. We also need a third element right now, so things are gonna <laughs> expand a little bit. Down the road, I want to enable or um, include a little installer in the connector. So if you boot up the connector, hit, I don't know, install water module. It will install the module in the right place for you in the community folder. If there is an update, it will update it in the folder. But for right now, uh, since this is the very first version. Okay, so I've got the zip file of the bits and droids module. You can get it from uh, the downloads page that I link in the description below. We extract it. You can extract it right here if you want to. Um, I always like to do it here. Here we go. So now we've got a folder extracted, but we can see that there is a folder in a folder for some reason. So make sure that you get this one. Like you don't want to have a folder in a folder. You want to have this as the first layer if you open it. So we take this, we copy it or I cut it. Then we navigate to the community folder of Microsoft Flight Sim. In the release notes, I've also included how you can find that folder for you if you have never added an add-on. It's the same as if you download something from flightsim.to or a livery, something like that. You all place them in the community folder, just like this. You open that folder and we paste it. In our case, it's already here, the bits and droids module. That's it. You launch the game, you launch the connector. Just as before, it just listens. If it sees a G1000 command or a G3000 command, it makes sure to pass it to the was a module eventually we will do the same thing the other way around where if something comes in that is not supported by the default sim connect sdk it will pass it to a connect so it may sound very complicated but the only thing you need to do is put in the module here and we're done we don't have to touch it we can just close it the folder hit start and we are ready to use our own g1000 solutions with the bits and droids flight connect that's it So thank you very much for watching. Um, I think we have entered a new era or something where we can start doing the more advanced stuff, access more variables, retrieve more variables, um, go wild, you know, sky's the limit. If you've encountered any bugs, you have any feedback, let me know as well in the comments down below. Or if you want the faster support, go check out the Discord that is also in the description. That's the fastest way to get a response from me. Or even if I'm sleeping or I'm uh, out working or anything, then there are always some kind of people that are willing to help people out that are stuck with something. So go check it out. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.